Shields working on the pickoff move. Now, look to oh, third base gets Robinson Cano. Oh, come on. Yeah, gets it done. He's one of the best in the business. Time for a, an authentic collection diamond demo, James Shields and Dan Plesak. Show us where you position yourself on the mound. Now, do you stay in the same spot even if you know you're going to go over and pick? Yeah, yeah, same spot. Try to keep everything as as as, uh, as the same as possible. You know, so they're not they're not you know thinking I'm going to do anything different. But for me, I mean personally, you know, I just when I when I come out, I make sure I look at them with both eyes, um, identifying leads. And, uh, you know, basically just seeing how far the distance is. Because when you come set, all you can see is your peripheral vision. And when you see my peripheral vision, it only measures what? Movement, right? So you can't see distance. So that's why I kind of have that little dip down where I come down, look at them with both eyes, see how, how many feet they have out. Now I can see whether or not they step one foot to the right, one foot to the left. I think, in my opinion, the two keys to having a good move, particularly for writing, quick feet, and a quick arm. What's your theory on, have you always had quick feet and it's something you have to work on? You know, you definitely have to work on it. There's no doubt about it. I mean, you want to be as quick as possible. But for me, the main thing is to really keep a short arm. You know, if you get long, you're wasting time over there. So, so for me, when you're coming set, you want to take a jab step back. You want to take a jab step back first, just to make sure you clear yourself. As soon as you take that jab step, you want your, you want the ball right almost next like to your, a catcher. Yeah, exactly. You want almost like a shot put, and then you be able to get it over there as quick as you can. Because the second you step off, and now your arm is back here, it's too late. One of the best right-handed pickoff moves there is. Would you say you're good at pickoffs at second base? Uh, yeah, yeah, same thing. Good feet work. As long as you have good feet work, and obviously the timing with your shortstop and your second base, and that's something that you work on during spring training. There's a pickoff play at third. Got him. You'll catch a runner at third base getting off a little bit too far. What's your thought process with a runner on third? You want to try to pick over less than two outs. You know, two outs, you want to just focus on the hitter. Um, less than two outs, you might, you might have a chance to pick him off over there, maybe catch him sleeping. Um, and it's more of a timing play. Now, does your third baseman have to be in on this too, right? Um, not necessarily. Is there any, as is long as he's not in the outfield, you're right. fine. So you, you know? can't have him playing really deep. Right, right. So he has to be somewhere equal to the bag, playing middle depth to where he can get from his spot to the bag in time for the throw. Absolutely. As long as you're not in the outfield, as long as he's, he's semi-close. Um, and more times than none, you know, you have no outs. Our third baseman is going to be in anyways in case, in case they, they bunt or, you know, do something like that. Um, you know, and the next thing you know, you know, you have a timing play. You know, you lift your leg just kind of like a lefty. You know, how lefties go over to first. Just same thing. You just come set. As soon as you lift your leg, third baseman goes over. Now you pick him up. Perfect. So you, you pick off at first. You're one of the best in baseball. You're good at second. And now you're even using this at third base. Big game, James. You have all the bases covered. <laughs> Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate it. Celebrating five years of our national pastime all the time. MLB Network.